It's time for another 172 second review. This time, Drakenturm by Carlo A. Rossi, published by Hava. Drakenturm, or Dragon Tower, is a cooperative memory and dexterity game for two to four players ages five to 99. This is Princess Zephira. The object of the game is to get her from her room at the top of the tower to her waiting carriage before the dragon Terex collapses her means of escape. This daring scheme comes in two parts. Part one involves building a scaffold tower for Zephira to use. The second half is about getting Zephira out of the tower and to her waiting carriage before time runs out. At the start of the game, the tower is assembled. Zephira is placed in her room at the top of the tower. Terex is placed in the first position on his path. Terex's rock is fully extended on its rope and is placed next to the tower, and a single scaffold level is randomly chosen and placed so that it is supported by the rock and the tower. The remaining scaffold levels are placed in a pile, with the top level at the bottom, and the building tiles are shuffled and placed in an array to the side of the board. During Phase 1, players take turns revealing building tiles in the array. Revealing a companion allows you to place that color companion on their matching X on the scaffolding level. If there isn't an open X of that color, flip it back over, remembering where it is for future use. A joker tile allows placement on any open X. Once used, these companion tiles are returned to the box. A scaffold tile can only be used once all four X's are full, in which case a new floor is placed on the structure and the tile is returned to the box. There are dangerous tiles in the array as well. Reveal Terex the dragon and Terex will move back one step on his path, reducing the amount of slack in the rope between him and his rock. In addition, the Terex tiles are not removed from the array, so the same tile could hit you twice if you're not careful. If you're unlucky enough to move Terex all the way to the end of his path, he simply stays there and future Terex tiles have no effect. Once the scaffold is built, the rescue begins. Each player gets one slider wand, and on the count of three, Terex's wing switch is flipped, and he starts reeling in the rope. Using only the wands, players must move Zephira out the door, around the balcony, onto the scaffold, through the hole in each level, and finally over the bridge to her carriage before Terex pulls the rock away and collapses the scaffold. If Zephira falls, you simply put her back and keep going, but if you run out of time, the game is over. It's a pretty epic finale. Drakenturm has been a big hit with my kids, and I really enjoy the curb appeal of the tower, though I personally find it not to be too difficult for me. The rules offer suggestions for adjusting the difficulty, though. Removing Terex tiles to make it easier, for example, or playing with your non-dominant hand during the rescue for an increased challenge. A round lasts less than 15 minutes, so win or lose, kids are ready to give it another try. Highly recommended. 8 out of 10. I'm Eric Summerer, and that's another 172 second review. For more video reviews and my favorite audio podcast, please visit Dicetower.com. Thanks for listening. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. Cool stuff in stock at CoolStuffInc.com.